What is Mission Hills? Mission Hills, founded by Dr. David Chu, is a luxurious golf course located in China. It's important to understand the history of golf in China in order to have a better idea of how Mission Hills was established. Until 1979, golf was banned in China, but as the country's economy grew, so did the investors who were interested in creating golf courses. Dr. David Chu was one of the investors that took a great interest in the development of the golf industry and became the founder and chairman of Mission Hills. The company had an ambitious vision to become the largest golf resort in the world. In order to make this vision come true, Mission Hills focused on making their human capital their top priority. The company realized that in order to provide five-star service, their employees must be able to display an ability to deliver a memorable customer service experience. This strategy deemed successful and the company was able to grow exponentially. The next step forward for Mission Hills is to be able to strive for further expansion without losing their innate ability of providing a premium customer service experience. Mission Hills has several key success factors that make it the top golf brand in China and help maintain its five-star reputation. These factors include customer satisfaction by catering to guest needs and exceeding their expectations, the nurturing of employees' human capital, a careful recruitment and selection process by recruiting internally through performance appraisals, an effective training program for employees by rotating them in each of the different departments and having them participate in several role-playing training sessions, which ensures that they know what to do in any difficult situation. And finally, employees are trained to be versatile, competent, and attentive in their roles. All these success factors have led to Mission Hill's employee turnover rate of 20.4% to be below the industry average and plans to keep it that way moving forward with its expansion in Hainan. The human resource challenges Mission Hills is dealing with relate to recruitment and selection, training and development, and employee retention. As the company continues to expand to new locations, its workforce needs to expand as well. Entry-level employees with the right attitude and potential will be a challenge to find because while the demand for labor has increased, the supply of labor has not. This is most evident at the new golf resort location, which will struggle to meet its labor demands due to demographic and economic factors. These include a decreased population, which is a result of China's single child policy and a skills gap in the labor market. At the same time, Mission Hills needs to navigate difficulties with training and development. While the current process produces skilled workers, it is quite time consuming and demanding, making it difficult to sustain. It causes further damage when employees are lost to rivals, considering the amount of resources invested in them. This makes employee retention and brand reputation additional challenges needed to be addressed. The HR challenges faced by Mission Hills will negatively impact the business if they are not approached correctly. In terms of difficulty with recruitment, if candidates in the labor pool for selection do not have what Mission Hills describes as the perfect mix of attitude and potential, the chosen candidates will not be able to contribute to the business in productive ways, which will harm the organization. This would negatively impact the business because without the right employees, the business will not be able to live up to its reputation. The single child policy that was enforced in the 1970s also contributes to the negative impact on the business as it makes the labor pool smaller. Another challenge negatively impacting business is the production of highly skilled workers. The resources needed to ensure that there is a thorough enough training program where employees are able to retain the material might be quite costly. And if employees are not able to retain the training because of how lengthy it is, this will also have a negative impact on the business because employees will need to be retrained. The last challenge with the negative impact on business is the aspect of keeping the turnover rate low. High turnover rates will negatively impact the business as they show that the environment is one in which employees might not feel valued enough to continue working in. This can drive away business as the ability to form relationships between the customers and the staff might be reduced due to having new staff on duty often. Having a low turnover rate is therefore essential to keep the business running smoothly and should be considered a priority for the business as should all the challenges aforementioned. For Mission Hills, a five-star rating will relate to its value in terms of its importance to the golf and tourism industry and the quality of the luxury services and customer service offered. 
The factors that allow five-star service to be achieved include distinctiveness, referring to the uniqueness in offerings and how the resort stands out from its competitors. Visitor experience refers to the guest's comfort level, the ambience of the facility, and how well the guests feel they are treated. Customer value and efficient service. Whether international or local, guests need to feel that their choice was justified. Ensuring that staffing levels are efficient and adequate for the number of guests is also important. Lastly, ensuring that staff are well-trained and are satisfied with their role and their employer is also a key factor in employee satisfaction. Management must focus their strategy on customer satisfaction to maintain five-star status. Five-star service is a direct reflection of employee engagement with guests and partners of Mission Hills. Being adaptable when meeting guests' needs is a critical factor within company strategy that enhances positive outcomes and increases customer retention. Customer satisfaction can be achieved by hiring employees with the greatest potential to represent the goals of the resort and those who desire to accomplish these goals through personal achievement. Ensuring that staff are able to communicate effectively, especially in the English language, will give them the confidence to carry out their duties and offer superior service. Addressing demanding guests can be challenging. However, through recruitment, selection, and training processes, employees will demonstrate assertion and courtesy while addressing guests' complaints to their satisfaction while supporting company policy. Feedback from employees are just as important as feedback from guests. The employee's voice should be heard and valued as they will know what processes are efficient and what the customers respond well to. Feedback will assist management in determining what areas the resort is doing well in, areas requiring development, and also helps to maintain the level of service that has awarded them with the highest ratings. Focusing on training and development, as well as pay for performance packages, Mission Hills will be able to motivate and influence staff to be confident when interacting with prestigious guests. For the Mission Hills brand to be successful and to meet their objective of providing five-star service, it is important that supervisors and managers develop skills on how to coach, provide support, and build relationships with their entry-level staff. By incorporating the principles of learning as part of their training plan for current and new locations, supervisors and managers will be able to train through a variety of techniques, such as watching videos, participating in live role-playing scenarios, as well as receiving immediate feedback and reinforcement from trainers. By creating financial incentives like pay for performance plans for existing and new locations could be a motivating factor for entry and mid-level employees. By rewarding staff for their performance, they would exert a higher degree of effort in order to be recognized for the exceptional service they provide. This type of incentive would also increase high performers who could be incentivized further to relocate to new locations and mentor new staff on standards and expectations. Here, I'm going to talk about some recommendations for Mission Hills to recruit, develop, and retain new employees during its rapid expansion to the new facility. For recruitment, Mission Hills should be focusing on value-based hiring where the behavior of candidates is matched with the corporate culture of the firm, and then the people who fit well in it are hired. The company should also recruit internationally so that candidates who possess knowledge about different cultures and practices are hired. One way to do this would be to collaborate with educational institutions abroad and offer students internship at the company in China. Other ways in which the company can attract talent would be through internet and social networking sites such as LinkedIn, Facebook, and Instagram. The company should also use video content that describes its values and culture to the potential candidates. Next, for developing the human capital, the company should introduce career management practices like succession planning, providing employees with the needed resources that help in achieving the career goals and career counseling services.
Also, trainings for new recruits in areas like English language communication, diversity, and personality development should be provided. The company should also develop effective performance management system that provides constructive feedback on a continuous basis. This can include quarterly reviews and short follow-ups with leaders every week to discuss the progress of their employees. Some things to consider for retaining the talent can include developing unique incentive plans that differentiate them from their competitors. This can be done by providing performance-based pay like spot bonus, lump sum merit pay, and profit sharing plans. The company can also provide education loans for employees' children who study at the mission health school. Further, non-monetary incentives like awards, recognition, a family vacation day at resort, employee discounts, and wellness programs can be adopted. Finally, the company should promote a diverse culture by accepting the various groups in the community and including them as a part of their organization. Also, work-life balance options such as flex time and family vacation policies and services can be introduced.